Good morning. Give me one second. There's my robot. He's awake. And I've got no sound. Hang on. There we go. All right. So, hey, we're playing Kitchen Crisis again. I'm Old Man Sugarheart. Uh, I played a lot offline because, uh, well, I, I expected this game to be kind of grindy and kind of the same all the way through. Like, it's really fun. I'm enjoying it. But I figured you wouldn't like it so much. Oh. They do a little loop here, do they? Alright. I've unlocked several characters. Uh, right now I'm playing as the head chef. What they do is they, they can only pick, like, high-level recipes. And they seem to start with fever time. Alright. But... You don't care about all that. Let's get this started. I think we definitely want to like camp up this area, and if we hit them here, we're gonna hit them twice. The men boshas are really good. They seem complex. So, where do I want to set this up? I'm overthinking it immensely. So, like, eventually everything goes into the fryer, right? Put the bread here. They can put prepare the bread on the countertop. I have no idea how they turn into a loaf of bread. But that's what they're doing. We also need onions and a chopping block. Other than that, butter, egg, and shrimp. I have no idea what a membosha is, but it sounds so good. Butter, egg, shrimp. these guys over here just drop that sandwich there their own place head cooks I want one of you over here now what are we gonna cook over here you're gonna be fried chicken guy this is gonna be the fried chicken area So, potato, slice it, fry it, drop it, and then the chicken, same thing, slice it, that's not a slicer, oop, that's not the chicken, that's the chicken. An up move dish from fryer to countertop. Oh, you need one of these, do you? And then lastly, we've got Burger Man. I think Burger Man's gonna be over in this area. So 
So you need a counter right before you serve it up. Meat, chop, fry, and place on the stack. And cheese kind of the same way. And just need a bun. Okay, now I need to block off these areas so they don't like run across the map to get to cook the other thing. You know what I mean? Alright. Can you do a little check progress? To see if they've got it figured out. They do. Okay. see it in action the microphone's been picking up my desk a lot I thought I had filters on for that worm yeah okay I think we're just gonna stack memboshes up over here now let's get more people We're going to be heavily Membosha f uh, focused. Let's see. Let's get the movement speed increased. And everybody's chopping things, so... Focus on chopping. Hey, am I really an old man or is it just a name? It kind of depends. Uh, what's the exact day somebody becomes old? Like, is it their 35th birthday, their 70th? When would you say an old man is old? You tell me the day somebody becomes old. 60 plus? Oh, yeah, no. In that case, I am not an old man yet. I plan to be one day. Uh, what am I doing? Food. Slow down. Serving speed. I'm, I'm okay with slow serving speed. Or doing like splash damage. We'll do that on the cheeseburger. Fifty plus? Uh yep, still wouldn't be an old man yet. That is kinda when I expect to be famous. That's kinda why I chose an old man as a VTuber. Because uh one day him with the shrimp here just tell me the age 
Uh, I'm trying to keep it a secret for a little fun guessing game for the, for the viewers. I'd like to say I'm pretty old. I'm old enough that I've been playing video games my or I'm young enough that I've been playing video games my entire life. Like my earliest memories are are back playing like Commodore 64. But but yeah, I I'm above the average age of gamers. If that helps. We want delivery robots? Not yet. You get the fryer speed boost for them being of away from other pieces of equipment. Grandma is nearly 100 years old, and that's who you imagine when you think of someone old. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. My great grandma lived to be, uh, like 107. I think. I can't remember the exact age she was, but she definitely lived a long, long time. I'm trying to get there. I just re reached the point in my life where I need to completely change my diet because it's all downhill from here. Like, up until, like, last week, I was in kind of, like, party mode, you know? I was like, I can choose to sacrifice health in, in order to, I don't know, work more, make money, live life, raise kids, focus on, like, other things that are important. But now I'm at the age where I'm like, no, if I, I keep that up, <laughs> I will actually do permanent damage to myself. Probably already have, but... You don't mind being old, but you don't want to grow up to grow so old that you can't even go to the toilet yourself. Uh, yeah. I... I... I hope it doesn't get to that point for me. I mean, what happens happens. There's not a whole lot of say I have in it, but... I want to live as long as possible, but I don't want to be a burden on everybody else either. I'll Costco down. That's a good one to get early. Did I get another recipe? I did. I'm just piling up the memboshes. But yeah, uh, the the truest part of my name is the the sugar heart portion, the old man portion. Like I'm gonna feel. I I imagine I'm going to be old way before I'm famous. And so, like, I feel like I'm going to grow into that name. Yeah, look at the Mamboshes go. You are famous? You got an, interna an international viewer? Yay! 
My first viewers are international. I mean, I, in America, I'm streaming at like 4 a.m. And so, like, the only people awake to see me are people out in like the Philippines or or Malaysia. For a while, I was doing really well in Nepal for some reason. I'm only boosting ingredients in Memboshes from now on. Bread. So where are you from? Singapore? Australia? New Zealand? I've never had a viewer in Thailand. I'm Thailand or Vietnam. You would like to keep a... <laughs> you want to keep as a fun game to guess? Okay. Uh, no hints though? Because otherwise, I'm just going to name every every oceanic country. You're on Papua New Guinea. Is Borneo still a thing? Fiji. Uh, let's see. You said international, so that rules out Guam and Hawaii. Theoretically. Um, Japan. I do get a, a, a decent amount of viewers from Japan. Usually Americans who go over to Japan to teach English. You're, you're in Asia? Okay. Well, I have to guess China for... China and India just for statistic reasons. Alright, we're gonna skip those recipes. We'll, we'll probably get like a big five-star recipe here in the middle eventually. But we are, are focusing heavily on the Memboshes. Look down one. Down from down from China or down from uh, Japan? You're down from Japan, that puts you in Taiwan, probably. And let's see. Well, it said lock. Lockdown. Oh, yeah, you did say lock. You said statistical reason. Lockdown one statistical reason. I, I'm not. That's another hint. But it wasn't China or India. It was India. Oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. You said lockdown one, China or India. Gotcha. I, I think I understand. So, you are in India. I know a lot of people from India. I work in the tech industry. 
And so just also by statistics, naturally, I work with people from India. Accidentally closed the the stream, so you don't know if I, I said anything. Maybe nothing important. Thank you for the follow, Forgotten and Eternal. I think I need to get another countertop in here. So tell me, is... Have you ever been to the United States? Mostly I want you to tell me if Indian food is better in India than it is in the United States. Because it's really good here. Never been outside of Punjab? I hope I pronounced that right. Well. Kinda. It's kinda better. Not bad. Because it is like one of my favorite foods of all, all time here. Like I, I imagine we're doing it completely wrong. Like we probably just dump a ton of sugar into our version. Which, you know, that appeals to me. And my big sugary heart. But it's probably not what you're supposed to do. Get those bread numbers up. Throw in another counter. Move the burger. There. You don't know what Indian food even means. Every state has its different food and culture. Yeah, uh, so I went to San Francisco one time with uh, an Indian guy I work with. And uh, he started asking the local uh, Indians where where to find the, the real Indian food so he can show me what it's like. And he insisted, like, the best Indian food was from southern India. Uh, because they apparently they know how to do it right, he said. Yeah, Dong Po pork. I don't know what that is, but uh, sounds delicious. Alright. Sorry, get out of here, fried chicken man. This is Dong Po pork town. Boy. We need a lot of stuff, and it's actually pretty crowded. See if I can get away with having a fryer by itself. I can't, man. Maybe if it was over here. So the meat comes out, we chop it, and then we need to boil it. Get the fryer down here, and then fry it, and then we put it on the counter, here. Everything else needs to be chopped, but do I even have room to put those ingredients down here? What are you? Garlic. Isn't garlic in everything? He must be South Indian. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I'm very happy that you were able to guess that from... Just from what I said. Okay. So, we, okay, we do have a chopping block. So maybe they can just, like, walk over there. And we have room to, like, put these ingredients... But then there will be no room for the counter.
I don't I can't think of a way to arrange this so that I can have everything. So Dongpo Pork needs to be up here. If only I could backspace and get the fried chicken back where it was. Okay, chop, fry, counter, chicken, and then french fries. But yeah, he, he insisted, like, they, they season things right. Which, uh, to me, was just adding tons and tons of seasoning. Like, no offense to Indian cuisine, like... I've been told not to do that in my cooking endeavors. I like doing that. Do we fry everything or is it just the meat? Meat and french fries. Okay, so... Potato. Chop. And we'll have the meat next to the chopping block as well. What can I eat? Pork. We will do the boiling around here too. As for the other ingredients. Garlic, lettuce, what's the other thing? Onion. We chop. And can I kind of mirror this pattern over here? So if I get another potato chop, meat chop and boil, uh, and then there's not a ton of room for other things over here. It'll be fine. Get another countertop. Garlic's not used in any recipe. Oh, that's because I haven't placed the recipe. Okay. Will you shut up now? Good. Good. I mean, it was, it was really good. And it was really flavorful. I had a good time, but like... I don't know, my... My, my American tastes are like, make everything creamy and sugary and uh, fatty and disgusting, and I love it. That's all I want. Who doesn't have a cutting board? Somebody's complaining. That's the Membosha crew. We got this like Dongpo finisher here. That does like 900 damage to anyone who survives the Memboshes. And nobody's surviving the Memboshes. Can. I wish I could minimize this to see the map. I'm like, is there a spot to put another Mem. Dongpo? There is. You have no idea how spicy is considered spicy since you don't have anything for comparison, right? Well, I I wouldn't even call it spicy. They what I got wasn't spicy. It was seasoned. Like there was tons and tons of seasoning here. Give some Dongpo assistance over here. Like, they just added tons of seasoning. None of them were, like, overly using peppers or anything. And it might just be because, you know, it was a restaurant in America. So they were probably catering to Americans a little bit. So maybe they took it easy on me. But it, it was just a ton of stuff. Like, they took the whole spice cabinet and dumped it on it. And I'm, you know, I'm okay with that.
I, I've been known to do that too. I'm, I'm trying to practice not doing that. Damn, my memboshas are brutal. Uh, let's increase the speed. Recipes with raw meat. That's only the Tongbo pork. Oh, and the cheeseburgers. A 20% damage increase. Let's do that. More Dong Po. A terrible idea, but we're doing it. Okay, it's not a terrible idea. There is room. Just scoot that counter over a little bit and it'll be fine. Is this a, a tower defense game? You didn't pay any attention before, but it, I, you thought it was a management game? It is a tower defense game. But, you know, that doesn't bother me. See ya, good luck. Good luck. Or, good luck. You have a good day. Thank you for dropping by. It is a tower defense game. Luckily, it's like a little more sophisticated than a tower defense game. Like, there, there's nothing inherently wrong with a tower defense game. Like, as long as the game is fun, it doesn't bother me. Like, we'll go through and we'll play some skilled games later. We'll throw in some Elden Ring. Or we'll play, like, some super cozy games. I don't have room for more Dongpo. Can I throw in some shrimp over here? Wait, what is happening? Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another cutting board over here. Can I get a shrimp burger in here? Like, I'm concerned I can't even fit it. Try not to have my guy run all over the planet, but I don't think I can help it. the counter here. Bun. Cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and shrimp. Cheese, lettuce, onion, tomato, and shrimp. I still need to grill the shrimp. Oh my, and it's gonna be brutal because they're gonna have to run all the way over to the counter. So I think I need the counter here. For the shrimp, you run across the world to grill that shrimp. Then you put it right here. Is kind of a final murder. And I'm going to move one clone. I'm going to move... You. You are Shrimp Burger Man. If you manage to complete one, you'll be a hero. And let's boost that shrimp. If I can max out my my ingredient boxes, they stop being obstacles. If they stop being obstacles, 
I can more efficiently like put everything everywhere. All right, shrimp guy's not doing too bad. Like now he's got to do the shrimp, which is a bit of a jog. But he did it. I wasn't expecting him to actually be able to finish a shrimp burger. But he's got six. If they could survive this loop, like, I'd have something to be concerned about. I wonder if even the boss will be able to get through there. I want more Dong Po. Refresh. Sneak out another shrimp burger. The place. get these two guys who just kind of sit there in the Membosha arena so I think I have too too many over here I think I need to move them over to the Dongpo area oh and here comes the boss We'll get an extra Dong Po, except I have no idea where I would ever put it. And I've got to seal off this area, I think. Seal it off with another cutting board. Alright. You two. Get over here. Raw meat. Okay. Forgot to use the shackles. That's fine. Gonna do the speed boost. Everyone's gonna take off flying. And then when they get close, when the boss gets close, I turn on the forbidden elixir. And finish him off. Look at him go! Where's the boss? Okay, the boss are, is the big bugs. He might be able to make it like around a loop. Boom. We up the damage. Oh, and they didn't stand a chance. Seems like the restaurant was a complete success. You may rest a while, but your cooking has become too popular among us to send you back to Earth. So we'll you'll have to work for us a while longer. Take a good rest and see you next time. Pretty good. Alright. And decrease the cloning costs. So this is... This is what I found to be the meta. Like, I've tried most of these skill trees. The best one I've found is this. Where we just increase satisfaction. Which is basically damage. Like, once you do that, like... You, you can shred through the guys with, like... High hit points. And if you can just keep uh, enough things out there... Like... The next thing I leveled up was cooking speed, and that worked really well, especially when you get down here. Because it's like, just extra food randomly, and somewhere. There was one in here, I think. Yeah, every 20 seconds, food count increases by one. 
So, like, if you do complicated dishes, like, you're getting free dishes, which are enough damage to, like, take out anything in one hit. Like, there is a chance I don't need to do much of anything. Carrot soup? I've ne I haven't had carrots yet. This makes me happy. I think we want to dump the carrot soup over here. Here's how it's gonna go down. We put the pot here. Here it's onions and garlic. And onions. We put the choppers here. Give me these guys. That's all you do, carrot soup right there. And then we'll have like a burger man, a fry man, or chicken man, chicken man. Normally you start with like low level ingredients, but because or low-level recipes, but it's the character I chose uh, that starts with at least level threes. Burger, Burger Man, where where Burger Man go? I think I want to keep him over here. Oh, hi, kitty! You gonna join me? Yeah, you're a good kitty. Yep. I know. So interesting, right? You're here, but it's sleep time, so so you lurk. Okay, I appreciate it. You heard a mew? Yay! I think something is messed up with my sound settings. There's a lot of things coming through that shouldn't. The positive note is that my kitty sounds are coming through a lot more, but like every time I touch my desk, there's that noise coming through. Let all the muse through, right? I want to, but I also don't want like every weird breathing and like bodily gurgle I've got coming through at the same time. All right. Oh, first of all, get your chicken out here. What are you missing? What do you need for chicken? You got potatoes, you got fries, you need a countertop. Uh, here, we put the countertop here, we put the fryer here. Anyway, you lurk and sleeps. Actually, you need a sandwich, yeah. If you're, if you're watching this game, prepare to get hungry. I play a lot of cooking games and I, I'm basically starving through all of them. Put the cheese next to the chopper too. I think. Okay, and we get the burgers up and we drop them there. And I think we have everything. I think I can improve the, the efficiency of the carrot soup. Because right now, when they get to the point where, like, they're just waiting on that final ingredient, they all just sort of stand there. So if I can get another one of these pots in there... They can start on the next carrot soup. And 
burger guy's got tons of space, so we might as well get more burgers out here. So, anyway, I'm going to move the bun here near the counter. Move the carrots over here. And put another pot down. So now that they can have like two... Two of those running at any time. Uh, as for prep work, go there and help with the fried chicken. Keep you in Cheeseburger Town. Let's just crowd it in here. I've he might end up standing around a little bit. But like once it gets going. Yeah, no standing around. Perfect. Okay, as for appliances. I don't I don't know what I want. We boost our meal stacks, that's what we're doing. Alright, will the burgers take them down? Good morning, Sugar Heart. Good morning, Jessica. How are you doing today? Increase serving speed permanently. Uh, permanent satisfaction is better. That's the raw damage. How are you doing today, Jessica? More burgers. I think we might need some more chopping stations up here too. Let's see. Cooking and movement speed increased, but satisfaction decreased. Ooh, unlimited serving range. That's always a good one. Um, we're going to do that. Anything with french fries is going to fly across the world. Now all of a sudden this one's really important. It's 4.30 a.m. all. You just woke up and you're doing pretty good. Gotta start your day early. How am I? How's the game going? I, I'm doing pretty good. Things are alright. I took a day off because uh, I'm kind of falling apart and you know, a normal healthy way as you do let me open the restaurant while, while I chat about it so I, I'm trying to make some decent changes in my life I want to get more work done and I want to eat healthier and it's been kind of a painful adjustment my desk is no longer filled with cookies. Which, you know, just sounds like the absolute worst thing, right? These guys are taking forever down there. I think I need another countertop for them. Get another dude in here. Serving range increase, maybe? Overeating. Carrot soup is pretty, pretty big deal. So we want the carrot soup to do damage. Because that's the first thing that hits them. The flying potatoes will hopefully finish them off. And if they survive that, they get down into the burger zone. 
You had a sandwich and some chocolate milk, so now it's time to sleep. You have a good sleep, Julia. It's always good to see you. Oh, you agree? Some here, same here. You really need better healthy habits and lifestyle, like more exercise. Exercise, I'm kind of counting as a wash. Like, I, I'm never going to be able to make it to the gym, but what I'm going to do is every day after work, I'm going to go for a walk. Like, it sounds like not much, but I think I need it for both the meditative purposes and the exercise pur purposes. Porpoises. Hello, kitty. You here to make some noises? But like, I, I just need a little more time in my day to like, sit and gather my thoughts. Because I don't do that much. The flying french fries are doing pretty good. Now welcome to the burger dome. Oof. They can almost get through the Burger Dome. Let's increase money. More money, more burgers. Ooh, and more french fries. I forgot to place that last time. Let's see. Boost the carrots. Increase food by one serving. Decrease cooking speed. Mm. Nah. Cook faster? Ooh, okay. We're gonna hit them with the, the slow chicken. They get hit with the slow chicken. That'll decrease their movement speed, and that'll give them more time to get burgered to death. Mo burgers, mo money, right? Walking is really good exercise, that's what you're gonna do? Because there's no gym near you? Yeah. Man, when I was... When I was young... I had... Had much more... Time to go to the gym. Portal. Gonna use the portal. Not yet. But it's gonna come in handy. We'll get a new recipe. I'd like a five star recipe. Alright. Carrots and chicken are the ingredients I wanna level up. We'll keep leveling up the portal. See, now the fries are slowing him down. They'll get beat up by the carrot soup. Now burger time. More fries. Almost doesn't matter where I place those since they can fly across the world. You come here. I think four people might be the max we need over there. counter movement boost now nah, lots of the burger people are just sitting around kind of the same with the chicken and potato people we really need another recipe in here
They're almost getting through the burger dome, and I can't have that. The hand kit cuffs for permanent satisfaction. Uh, we hit him with more burgers. What kind of burger is that? Just a regular cheeseburger? Well, now we hit him with the deluxe cheeseburger. How is the kitchen tower defense? It's really good. Honestly, like, uh, as far as tower defenses go, this one's probably my favorite ever. Like, I'm not usually a fan of tower defenses, but this one has more to it. It's a little unbalanced, I think, but I think that's because they tried to do something new with it, basically. Like, they... Oh, hang on. By making it a little more complex. They ended up, honestly, you can't lose the feeling that it would be much better feel with a reference to Hell's Kitchen, sorta. Yeah, yeah, uh, they're, <laughs> they might do that. Or they, they might have tried to do that. I'm not sure where the developer of this game is from. I want to say he's in like Thailand. So like maybe he, he just doesn't have a Hell's Kitchen reference. Or or what doesn't get that or isn't familiar. But I love the developer of this game. Like he made another game uh, called Team Fight Manager. Oh, what? right, right, right. I've got portals. Here's what I'm going to do. You set up the counters here. It's at one portal over here. And then the other portal will be over here. Now, the cool thing about portals is now I can surround this area with ingredients and chopping blocks and stuff. We'll put a frying pan here. Chop. Meat. Chop, chop, chop for the other ingredients. We'll have a bun guy over here doing bun things. Uh, so now we need cheese, lettuce, and tomato. We'll block this area off with another cutting board. Two, three. Can we get more people? We can get more people. Two more. Perfect. This guy just stacks buns on counters all day. You mean it's Alien's Kitchen? At least it's something. You yeah, will see. You're going to check out the other game? I... These games really started to appeal uh, to me when I started having uh, kids. I need to launch the tomato soup faster. I'm going to put onions on speed launch mode. Oh, I thought onions would probably go on, on the the special hamburger, but I guess not. Oh well. Speed up the fryers for the chicken. Alright, let's do a little demo. See how fast they go. Oh, I think it's real good. Okay. These guys are complaining about a lack of a second fryer. And someone's complaining about the lack of a frying pan. Here, we will give you an extra frying pan. Move that one a little closer, but we'll get another one up here. For you guys, you're doing fine. You don't need another frying pan. 
but like these games where you arrange all your people and then you just press play. Oh, I meant to give them another fryer. Ended up helping every other recipe. Like that's worked out really nice for me. Like as soon as I had kids, I needed a game I could walk away from at any point. And so I started getting into these like auto battlers and tower defense and management sims. And it worked out really well for me. Like they've all been really great to the point where like I, I like playing them even now when I don't need to like walk away at the drop of a hat. Okay, there you go. You get a new fryer. So now you guys can work at full speed. Can I get you in this burger area? Let's see. Slow, slow down mode. Slow chicken. Yes. And with the slow chicken. But yeah, I got, I got a lot of my my weird permanent habits when my kids were born. Like, otherwise, like, I'd be all action-y, intense games all the time. But when my kids were born and I didn't have hands, basically, I started playing fantasy football because I was like, I need to be able to play a game. Like, at all times. I got really into that. Like, I'm done with it now. I'm back to having a normal life. Yeah, let's increase movement speed. Just go fast. We'll stack burgers here. Eventually we'll get like the level five. I want to add more people, but I feel like it's not entirely necessary. But yeah, I've never been able to, like, not play games. Like, I, I don't understand how people do. Hmm. I need to boost the portal speed. The problem is, like, every time somebody chops a vegetable, they have to go through the portal. Because I put the counters on the other side. I thought that would be like super efficient, but really. I think it's causing more problems than it's solving. Hi, Mr. Sugarheart. Hi, Kyrie. How are you doing? I tweeted about you. I see you saw that I tweeted about you. I don't tweet very often, so. I'm trying to be better about it. Move this over here. Done? You saw, thank you. Oh, you've been looking at this game. Is it good? It is good. Like this developer, he, he makes simple games, but they're they're all bangers. Here, let's... Oh, I can't put a guy on top of that? Got too many dudes now. Actually, you go over here.
But yeah, th this is a good game. Like, a lot of people pass over this guy's games. But they all play basically the same. You, well, all. He's got two games. Uh, but it's that kind of like set up and press play uh, feeling. Which is really good if you have kids because at any point you can just like get up and walk away. Which I've found super necessary. Yeah, no one's surviving the Burger Dome. We've got this game on lock now. It's like a Kairosoft game. I'll get get this once you're out of your Stardew Valley brain rot. A lot of people wanted me to play Stardew Valley and I and I skipped it. I feel bad. But the thing is like I I can have too many farming sims. Like I need to keep it to like two or three a year. But there are people out there who only play farming sims and they just want me to play farming sims. I need I need more variety in my life than that. Alright. Gotta boost the portals. And the chicken. <laughs> you get it, yeah. Like, farming sims are great, but, like, I just can't do it every single day. I really like... Well, well right now, I'm, I'm super happy to, like, find any cozy game that isn't a farming sim. And there's finally, like, some good ones coming out. Like, we played Botany Manor. That was pretty cozy. Squeezes and Ear was very intense but it was it was nice and cozy chicken burger set I do need another recipe here we go so chicken burgers we need what direction do they come in we should hit them on their way up here the fryers up here we put the bun on the counter then we need to get every ingredient on there get the meats and now you need Cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. You also need potatoes, and you need to fry those up and make fries. Now you want chicken burgers? Kyrie, thank you so much for the subscription. I am absolutely thrilled that you think highly enough of me to subscribe. I am... I am beyond a... <laughs> I'm overdoing it, but I am really happy you're here. You're a really cool person, and I'm glad to have you around. Now you want chicken burgers. I want chicken burgers too. A lot of the other Americans, they don't like uh, poultry burgers. But they don't know. Like turkey, a good turkey burger is amazing. A good chicken burger is amazing. And it's so much better for you than like, well, maybe not so much better for you. But, there are many things worse for you. Alright, let's get the chicken burger set over there. And we invite some people over. What am I missing? There's no countertop that can be used to make a chicken burger set. How dare you. the bun we'll move it over here Is that better 
No countertops. I think they're lying. I think what they're saying is I'm missing an ingredient. Got the buns. Got the potato. Oh! I used beef instead of chicken. There we go. Boop. And I think I want to fly one of you guys over here. <laughs> the gun emote is worth a three month sub. Lol. Well, you you can thank Jessica for that one. Jessica was nice enough, like uh the day she offered to be my moderator, she made a a bunch of like fill in animated emotes. Speaking of which, I need to commission a lot more emotes. So like Way back in December, I saved enough stream money that I could commission a set of emotes, so I did. And the person I commissioned them from is just... Uh, she's in the Ukraine, so she's constantly under attack and having a bad time all over. And she was having some health problems on top of that, so she... Like... Basically, emotes not not getting done, and that's that's fine. Very understandable. But it's getting to the point where uh, I need to place another order. I'm keeping that order open. Like it's been up for for months at this point, and so I, I'd still like to support her. So like, if it ever comes through. Like, yay, I'll give her the the five-star review. And I will uh, appreciate and use those emotes. But in the meantime, I need to get something. And so, like, by then, I've saved up enough money so that I can commission another set of emotes. Fiverr keeps emailing me like every day is like, you should cancel the order. And I'm like, ah, nah. Like one of these days she's going to need, she's going to need the money. And so 10 years from now, she'll finish it up. You're also very patient when it comes to like commissions. Like, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Exactly. Like it, it genuinely doesn't need to be done like super fast like take your time take as much time as you need like just flat out not do it at all like what's the worst that could happen like you never finish the order and I never get money for it that just feels stressful for you Like, that would load me with anxiety, right? Like, I know how it feels when I'm like, I'm gonna make a tutorial for a game, and then, like, I don't get around to it for a long time. It feels terrible. I'm like, oh man, I said out loud that I'm going to do a thing, now I have to do the thing or else I'll die. Meanwhile, nobody actually cares, and that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Not even a little. More chicken burger sets. Since these have french fries, uh, and my french fries have the ability to fly across the world, it doesn't really matter where I place these. Increase the serving numbers. Flying potatoes. Faster portals. Q. 
Get them. There's a lot of them. Like, there's no way they're surviving the Burger Dome. Right? I hope so. I am genuinely concerned, but these are really good burgers. They're, yeah. Good. And something's doing splash damage. I don't know what it is. But here comes the boss. Some kind of strawberry bavois. More chicken burger sets. Faster onions. Faster ingredients. Alright. Uh, we just kick off with super speed. And we should be able to handle it. Right? There's the boss. Oh, there's a couple of them. But can the bosses tank the burgers? I don't think they can. There's literally a hundred hamburgers there. And even if you got through that, you'd have to go through the cheeseburgers. You're gonna hop off and lurk? You're adding this to your cart right now? While I enjoy your stream? Thank you! I hope you enjoy this game as much as I do. Like, this is one of those games that I'm worried that only I really, really like it, and no one else can. But I think it's really good. Alright, uh, we don't have a lot of time, so we're going to have to speed run this one. Looks like we've got double pasta. So I need, need a countertop. We need to boil noodles. We need to chop tomatoes and meat and then fry the meat. Come here, people. I think we need uh, another chopping station. Fry here, countertop there. Honestly, we probably need more countertops too. Just so we didn't have two recipes going at once. Noodles there, frying pan here. Meat chop fry, and then tomato chop over here. Right? Throw in another cutting board just for fun. And as for cheeseburgers. I could almost use the same area over here. Just need to get some cheese.
I need... Oh, buns. There's just no room for anything. I'm supposed to be speedrunning this. I'm doing a terrible job. Bun, noodle, pot. We're gonna keep all the ingredients in these weird little slots here. So meat, chop, chop. Tomato, chop. Cheese, chop. Oh, I need a frying pan. We'll do that right here. And we load this place up with chefs. How's this look? I've seen better. This is terrible, but what can we do? There might be much better suited chefs to put in this area. Because if I loaded this up with simple recipes, like really fast, you just machine gun people right out of the gate. Uh. I'll get something on the menu, but I don't think any of this actually matters. These are all terrible. Uh, fried rice. Alright, here's what we do. We have meat over here. Another frying pan. We need some potatoes to chop and some rice to boil. Rice. Rice here. Potato rice. Am I missing any ingredient? I might be. Where is this coming out of? It's coming out of the frying pan, so I'm going to put it right there. Does the pork fried rice need a countertop? It doesn't. Here, let's get one more chopper. Put the rice over here. How's it look? Everyone's trying their best. It's still not good. Don't overthink it. Movement boost. We're gonna need a lot of those. Uh, faster frying? The 
The fans would be good if there was place to space for them to be. All right. Uh, increase satiation from from beef. All right. I have 15 minutes. I really need to speed run this. If I can max out the ingredients, uh, then like something special happens. These go into the floor so you can basically walk over them and pick up the ingredients instantly. I think that is the key to success here. Let's see. Handcuffs. More tomato pasta, yeah. Focus on the ingredients and nothing else. Well, in enhance ingredients when we can, but... Uh, let's see. Increase serving range, double satisfaction. Uh, anything with... Rice. Satisfies. Done. You want to meow for us some more? Cheesy tomato pasta. It doesn't take any more ingredients. So we can just throw that one in here. That doesn't need beef. I appreciate that. If I move the ingredients back, move every other ingredient back one. can get more instruments in here. So like they want to fry more, you can fry more. You want to chop more, you can chop more. You can boil. Here. Countertop. Another cutting board. Oh, it looks disgusting, but it'll do. Just keep boosting ingredients. Finishing the occasional meal. Oh, I hate it. It's not, it's just so bad. Uh, had three clones. Eh. 
Ooh, here we go. Any almighty countertops make any kind of like cooking device you can think of. So what I can do is get rid of like most of these and they'll just get what they need. Hopefully that makes things a lot better for them. We'll just keep throwing more people at it. And keep trying to boost the ingredient box. Whenever we can't do that, we want to boost speed. Alright, things are going a lot better now. Now if we get like the alien fridges that like contain any kind of food, things can get a lot more efficient. Yeah, oh. Things are going good. More people. Where's my ingredient box? There it is. serving speed. I don't think I need that. I need to increase damage. Increase cooking speed. Contract of blood. It says reduces by 100%, but that's just not true. That is not what happens. Like that's some kind of poor, poor translation. Or a flat out oversight. So like, yeah, we'll do the contract of blood every time. Get more people in there. Faster ingredients. Better ingredients. Go. Cheesy pasta. One of the best things I can do is just stack up tons of things along here because I've got a skill where they like automatically pop up with with some some recipes like every 10 or 20 seconds they'll all go up by one. And so, like, the more of those I have, I have, like, the more they just do, like, random damage. Lack of countertops, lack of cutting boards. I mean, gotcha. I've got too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. A uh, jar of chaos. I want alien fridges. No. Okay, uh... All costs are random. I've never done that. But, but we're doing it now. 
Okay, uh, enhance appliances. The countertop speed, but I, what I really need is ingredients. There we go. There we go! Increase satisfaction by 5% for anything with uh, cheese or tomatoes. Go tomatoes. If we can get our ingredient boxes to 100% before day 16, we win this easily. If we can't, we all die. Hi, kitty. Yeah, hop up here. Come on. Hop on up, kitty. I know you're excited. It's breakfast time. I'm gonna feed you in... Oh, well, I'm supposed to feed you in like four minutes, but we're gonna see this round through to the end. Alright. Give me the ingredients. I don't care about anything else. What are you doing, kitty? Are you meowing for everybody? You're very wet. Did you just have a bath? Honestly, we're doing pretty good here just without the ingredients. People are finding it harder to get around the corner. want the ingredients to be level 100, but I, I, I no longer know if I actually need that. Uh, tell them to go back to the beginning. That's a fun ability. Let us get more spaghetti with meatballs. Ingredients. Come on now. I know you're in here. There we go. 90%. Ugh. So close. Like every 10 or 20 seconds, everybody just dies. And these all go up by one. Alright, but here we go. Like... Now we're gonna boost up the ingredients that last time and it's gonna be amazing. What do I want? None of these. Where are they? Ingredients. There we go. Okay. We did it. boost up some damage but check this out okay uh, rearrange everything in the world uh, let's just put counters everywhere because we're gonna fly through these
That's my alarm telling me it's time to go, but I'm not listening because I'm doing things. All right. Instant. Super versatile things. Cook thing, fry thing, chop thing, boil thing. Okay, got noodles over here. Rice over here by the boil thing. Put some buns down. Tomatoes, beefs, cheeses. These guys are too close together. Hang on, spread them out a little bit. Cheese, beef, tomato, rice noodles. another beef over here throw a couple of potatoes down randomly more buns throw throw everything down everywhere definitely need more meats gonna need some more tomatoes too uh throwing potatoes again there so now Take the hair, head cooks, and I just put them everywhere. And uh, we're about to explode. Cutting board not used in any recipes. I need to actually put the food out there. I'm glad they don't let me start without that. Hang on. Burger. Pork fried rice. All right, let's give it a test. What does it look like? Just recipes flying. Lots of complaints about lacks of pots and cutting boards. Okay, well they are flying, but... Fair enough, they don't want this many... Many things. Okay, all the noodles and rice are over there. Throw in another frying pan. How about now? Any complaints? Seems like a no. More cutting boards and pots. You get another pot. And one more cutting board all the way over here. Okay, now go. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to absolutely obliterate anybody who comes through. This would be an insane kitchen to work in. Like, there's basically like no <laughs> no real rhyme or reason to why you're doing anything. You just grab an ingredient and prepare it. Someone will throw it together at the end. Now if we can throw in some like alien fridges into the ground. Alien fridges are, are fridges that have like every ingredient in them. I mean the alien fridge. No? Okay. Uh, boost potato. Jump over one obstacle while moving. I've never done that, but I'd like to see it.
I'm gonna skip these. I'm only getting things. I'm only gonna get things that uh that have the ingredients I have. Oh, did I accidentally delete one of the cheeses. Absolutely murdered, like straight out of the gate. Here comes the heartbeat where it hits them all. Bam. They're not complaining about a lack of cheese. They're complaining about a lack of meat. So I'll throw in another meat. Right, kitty? Well, hop on up, kitty. Every time I put one of these chefs down, ingredient box leaves. Two more days. Really want the alien fridge, but I don't think I can have it. Are people jumping the counters? They are jumping the counters. I love it. satisfaction no good recipes so oh my god part of me wants to put like more cutting boards in here now that they can jump things time here all right just rebuild everything from scratch we got this uh one two three four five cutting boards and over here we have the the boiler room uh here we have the meat locker Throwing another pot over here. So, noodles and rice over here. Uh, put buns near the counters. Meat, meat, meat. Some, some of those, some of these. Get a little more noodles and rice. Throw in another cheese over here. Probably another cheese. And I don't know. Uh, another potato. There we go. So we got all these. Now is there actual room for my people? Uh, there kind of isn't. Okay. Now we need the actual recipes. That's fair. Oh, but I can't put them down here. Because there's a cutting board in the way. Shoot. Well, this isn't going to work out at all.
All right, we will figure out the areas that have recipes on them. I'm flat out dizzy from the amount of things I'm putting on here. You. Put the bun there. More meat. All right, can you guys cook? They're doing their best. Good morning, old man. How's my day so far? It is your birthday. Woke up early and you are excited. Happy birthday, Ealer Chaos. Congratulations. Are you an old man like me now? Feel like things got worse but but whatever we're we're still overpowered i hope you have a good day i re i recently had a birthday I would say I'm officially a real old man now. You're 39, one more year in your 30s. You're running a 5K next month, gonna be a great year. Yeah. 39 is a good year. I enjoyed mine anyway. All right, do the speed boost. We just boost our ingredients. Tomato is a good one, like a nice percent increase. Look at him go. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Ether Chaos. Enjoy your lovely spring birthday. They're going through again. But we got them. We, we had this revisit saved up from the beginning, and that's what saved us. We almost lost that one. Whew. Seems like the restaurant was a complete success. You may rest a while, but your cooking has become too popular among us to send us back to Earth. So you'll just have to work a little while longer. Take a good rest and see you next time. Uh, and that goes for you guys too. Did I like uh, did I like Botany Manor? I really did like Botany Manor. If you like those escape room like puzzle type games, I uh, it was a really good one. Uh, I usually don't play those, but that one was just cozy. And uh, I believe was it the winner. Yeah, it was the the winner uh, of the community poll, which for those of you on YouTube, the community poll, I will put up every every couple of weeks or so when I don't know what we want to play and uh, I'll let you vote and decide for me. Usually it comes out pretty even and I have to decide anyway, but uh, it's a fun way to like get to see the games you want to play. And if you have suggestions for the games you want uh, you want me to play, uh, go ahead, comment, leave, tell me in Discord, tell me in any way you can, and uh, I will do my best to play that game. We're still a new enough YouTuber that it's really easy to get your suggestions in there, and I've played most of the games that have been suggested to me. Octopath Traveler 2 and Dinkum are both games that have been suggested to me that we haven't gotten around to yet, but they're on my list. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, I've got to get my kids to school. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, have a great week, and bye bye Oh, tomorrow we're playing Harold Halibut, which should be fun. It, come, it comes out in just a few hours here, so we didn't get a chance to play it today, but tomorrow that's that's going to be our next big game, or full game playthrough, Harold Halibut. Bye, everybody. Unless you're on Twitch, in which case, we will raid. Who's playing? Psychatic. Uh, and Dendro Bunny. Look, we're gonna raid Psychatic. They popped in here once. And they are playing Fallout 4. Everyone's playing Fallout because there's a big Fallout sale uh, going on on Steam right now. So you can play any of the ones you've meant to play. And so like 90% of my friends are going through and playing all of the Fallouts. Alright, uh, show Psychatic some love, and have a good one. You just watched the show? Yeah, that that reminds me. Yeah, there is the TV show that everybody's watching, which is probably why they put all their games on sale. Just outstanding marketing mood. Have a good day, everybody. Bye bye <laughs>